friends i am so glad to see you back and finally be filming another video for you and if you're new here then a big warm welcome to you and thank you so much for being here i hope you guys have a warm drink and a snack besides you and if not go treat yourself now onto the topic of the actual video today i'll be trying out copic markers uh, which i was so lucky to receive uh, as a christmas gift this year this video is not sponsored and all of the opinions would be just my own just for me having fun with my new markers i haven't really had a chance to use copics before I only uh, mainly use some Tombos and some Pascas, some highlighters, and that would be about it. I was able to find some old Copic markers laying around in my marker box, but I think I bought them mainly for doing calligraphy uh, from my pen pal era, and I actually even forgot I had them before, so... Yeah, I, this experience is going to be completely new to me. Uh, so I've been doing a lot of portraits and uh, face sketches lately. And I've been using midliners for this portrait. Um, I really liked using markers and I liked how it feels very simplified to create some shadows and negative spaces when using them. The only thing, obviously you can't blend them. So I was really looking into some more expensive markers on the market. I wasn't ready to buy Copics. I, I have been hearing a lot about those Ahuhu markers, which I'm still curious to try. So stay tuned. Maybe I'll get myself a set sometime soon. Nonetheless, I was uh, very excited that I get a chance to finally do some proper marker studies and have some easy time sketching with them. So, um, here are some swatches that I've done. The colors are all so nice and vibrant. This has been uh, such a pleasure to see them go onto the paper and you can't really show this in the video, but it's just the sound, the feeling when it touches the paper. Um, not to sound weird, but I love it. It just scratches something on the back of my brain that <laughs> hasn't been scratched <laughs> in a while. I don't know if that makes sense. But anyway, after getting Copic markers, I started researching about liners because i have been seeing a lot of artists on instagram and youtube doing a line art first and then coloring in with alcohol markers and i don't know i tried to do that with some microns i had lying around and it just wasn't working they would just all smudge no matter how long i would wait for them to try I'm not sure if the problem was in um, microns or the paper or I don't know, maybe just me, just me, uh, what sometimes feels like <laughs> me, I'm the problem. Um, yeah, so I found these graphic liners, they're called OHTO graphic liners, I, I'm not gonna uh, try to pronounce them because I don't know. Uh, but here on the swatch, you can see they're showing in themselves really great. They behave, they don't smudge almost at all. You can see on the right page right now, the eye, the hello word, and the square, they're done in these uh, OHTO graphic liners and three bottom shapes. They're done with some random pens and microns. And they, you can see the difference, they smudged so much. So at this point, I got very excited. I thought, wow, finally, I'll be just like those artists. And I'm gonna have a, a blast um, drawing some uh, marker illustrations. Uh, but to spoiler you, 
uh, that didn't happen. Everything started smudging, no matter what I would do, it just wasn't working. But for this portrait study here, I decided to just not to risk it and to just sketch it with uh, my regular color race, Prismacolor color race red pencil. I was just layering a lot of skin tones and you can see I start with the cast shadows just to simplify some uh, shadow shapes for myself. I don't want to go into the process too much and overcomplicate the video, but if you are interested in um, my portrait process video, just uh, let me know in the comments and uh, maybe I'll do a separate tutorial because I'm not sure if it would be boring or whatnot, but you can pretty much see my process here. There is nothing unusual, <laughs> nothing you haven't seen before, I guess. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with my new liners at the very end just to put some accents to some shapes that needed to be a lot more darker. And it would start to pop after I added liners, so I really like the results at the end. But these liners just uh, are not working for me, um, sadly. But I did order a different ones, different company, and they're they're great. They're completely different. So I was so happy that the problem was the liners, not me. And maybe for you guys, they would still work. I think uh, if you're a good artist, you can do art with any cheap art supplies, but um, I get overly annoyed when things aren't working for me from the first try. <laughs> Maybe it's a Leo thing, uh, but yeah, I, I'm very happy with uh, my new liners. I, I don't think I, I'm gonna be showing them in this video, but I'll show them next time I'll be doing some marker art. They're called Unipin liners, and I'm sure everyone heard of them because I've just been in a cave apparently. But uh, I think a lot of artists uh, who do line art use them just because they're pretty much bleed proof and smudge proof. They're amazing. So if you came here to see what liners I'm using, don't look at these ones and get yourself Unipin liners. They're good. They're very good. Oh, and by the way, uh, you can see probably on her cheeks, there is some bleeding of sort. And that happened because I'm saving uh, my paper. <laughs> and I started doing uh, this drawing on the next page from the previous page where I was already drawing with different markers and regular ballpoint pen, which of course bled through after going into contact with Copic markers. So yeah, you can see some dirty, uh, ugly bleeding on her cheeks, but it wasn't because of Copics, it was because of me, <laughs> because I don't think things through. But even though, um, even though it has some dirty smudges or whatnot, I am pretty happy with the results. Like, look how cute she is. Uh, I don't know. I was quite happy with this uh, character I got to do. And I'd say it's pretty good, especially for the first time using alcohol markers. I, I like her. I like her. What do you guys think? And just uh, to update you guys, uh, these are clips that I filmed um, after the video was filmed with some more sketching that I did off camera. I did some cute characters uh, from movies. I did this uh, cute little landscape with a little duck <laughs> because I was inspired by winter um, because it's Christmas time right now for me. and. I did some cartoony style, uh, just tried to copy <laughs> some other artist styles, but it wasn't working for me. And the liners were smudging. 
but this is my most favorite page I just did some portrait studies the left picture was done on the stone paper because I wanted to try it out but uh, the markers are not layering on it at all they don't bleed through at all as well but they don't layer so it's not working for me unfortunately and everything else is done in a Loy Storm sketchbook by the way so to answer if you should um, buy yourself expensive Copics and not any other markers no should you try alcohol markers definitely yes it was really working for me and is working still you'll see some more youtube videos i just really like how they're so mess free and so easy to blend and work with and yeah i think you guys should check them out if you can but you can definitely start with some cheaper alternatives and get similar results this dress drawing is my current uh, study of renaissance dresses by the way i have a process video on tiktok and instagram reels if you're curious but that's about it for this video thank you so much for watching and have a good day love you